Howdy there folks, I'm Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is Mac Madness Monday. Now today we have an application that I didn't think was going to be that vital in my life, and uh, it, at first I actually regretted spending $10 on it, but it has become a godsend utility that once you learn how to use and optimize becomes an absolute lifesaver. Now I'm talking about none other application than Byword. It's a simple typing interface for Macintosh which allows you to be efficient, simple, and compatible with just about everything. Now there's a lot of features within Byword that are hidden about um, that aren't on the surface, so you can really focus on what you're writing, but deep down it is a lot more powerful than some other applications like Write Room and uh, other real content creation studios. That being said though, Byword really does focus on your simple writing. It doesn't want you to be distracted with spelling errors or grammatical errors or formatting issues or font sizes. It just says write. Now the advantage to this uh, is many. First of all, Byword allows you to enter a full screen mode which essentially consolidates you with your content. This is really especially useful um, if you're just trying to write your argument or trying to write your paper. All too often, even though I budget my time wisely and even though uh, I, am, I consider myself a pretty good student, um, oftentimes I'll find myself an hour later with three lines on the page because I got distracted and I went to Twitter or I went to Facebook and really the ability to go full screen gets you out of the distractions of technology. You are consolidated with your work style and with your workflow and it's incredibly, incredibly comfortable to use and important. But also above that, you also have the ability to not only consolidate yourself with the content, but not be distracted by other things that a lot of other text editors have, such as spell checks, such as grammatical checks, uh, such as formatting, spacing, uh, font sizes, all that other stuff. What Byword intends to do is for you to open the application and write. Write down your thoughts. Don't worry about formatting. Don't worry about spacing. You can deal with all of that later. So long as you get your body of your essay written, you can change everything later. And oftentimes you'll find that when you're editing and fixing stuff right in the middle, uh, eventually the final product is not quite as cohesive as if you just wrote and uh, omitted stuff later. And you also find that it takes quite a bit more time. Uh, by just writing, you do actually just write. And there is no issues with uh, making sure you complete stuff um, accordingly. And you know, that really is something you can focus on later. And Byword does utilize that later on so that when you do need to do spell check and when you do need to space things right, you can do that. But it's not the main focus of the application. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it's actually really powerful. You can do multi-markdown stuff, which we'll talk about in a minute, which has been uh, incredible. And it really does make it a seriously powerful uh, text editor, if anything. And uh, it's 10 bucks, but I can tell you right now, you're going to absolutely fall in love with it, just like I have. It's incredible. So, without further ado, let's open the very simplistic application, and you will see, it actually uh, uses the resume feature in line, which is quite nice and it also has the ability to save documents much like text edit so it'll save several revisions of your paper so if the application unexpectedly quits or you run out of battery or your computer crashes or something like that it's going to have the most current as well as several past current saves uh, which is very very nice now let's open a new document here and uh, by default it goes into the full screen okay now full screen is great because again it consolidates you with the actual information that you're typing. It just encourages you to write. When you open up, there's a beautiful font. Uh, it's just the perfect size. And you can change this in the preferences and you can change the window theme and uh, you can change the width of the document that you're typing on. Um, and you can choose the size and the text font. But really what it wants you to do is open it and write. And so there are a bunch of preferences in here, but they're really to be set once and kind of left alone. So I like this black or at least darker interface. It's actually a really calming kind of gray. And I like this narrow style. Now, as you can see, these margins are massive. That doesn't mean when I go to print this document that it's going to print with four inch margins. It doesn't do that. There are separate settings which allow you to tell it exactly how you want to print it, the spacing, the font size, all that other stuff. So obviously you're not going to want to print your paper in 17 point font, but that's how you can type it and then you can fix it later on. And it's really incredible. So there's uh, my thing right here. Now I'm actually in uh, what's called uh, line focus, which uh, we'll talk about in just a second. But there are there's line focus. Line focus is pretty cool, and again, we'll talk about that in a second. But really, uh, in these menus, which are, are rather hidden until you really need to use them, uh, you can open new documents, old documents, recent documents. You can save. Um, you can duplicate documents. Obviously, you can save in any folder on your Mac. You can save uh, multiple copies on Dropbox or anything like that. It's really awesome and super cohesive against uh, multiple machines. 
you can export it to HTML, PDF, rich text, Word, and LaTeX. Now, one of the greatest things about this is uh, if you receive a Word document, you can also open it with ByWord. Uh, you do not need Microsoft Word or you don't need to use the fairly ugly text edit. Uh, you can open it with ByWord, you can edit it with ByWord, and save it in ByWord, all retaining that Word text and formatting. It's really beautiful and I love it a lot. Page setup is where you uh, set up your print margins and uh, your settings within there and then obviously there's a print button. Now you can also go into the edit menu and there's spelling and grammar and all that other stuff. By default, pretty much everything is disabled. It doesn't tell you about spelling and grammar while you type. It doesn't tell you about spacing. It doesn't tell you about font size. It's only till when you say, okay, show me spelling errors that it'll show you them. So you can do that. You obviously can check spelling while you type. So uh, that snazzy iPhone guy is not a word. And it, it appears with a red line. But for me, a red line is really distracting. And I'll go, oh, I spelled that word wrong. And I go to right click it and select it. And then I lose my train of thought. And it's really incredibly irritating. So what this does, it says, no, get everything out of the way. Let's just focus on your writing and then fix everything later, which is uh, absolutely an incredible, um, incredible kind of uh, methodology and at first I was like well that's stupid I don't want to be spelling stuff wrong while I type but really you do get distracted by these simple basic things and being able to fix them later is a really good system now as you saw in this uh, format menu you can choose all your formatting here however there's also hotkeys uh, which are very easily learnable to do center justification to do uh, right justification center and left and then you can also um, select text either by highlighting it and then uh, clicking Command T, which brings up this beautiful little palette, which allows you to choose text size, uh, justification. It allows you to uh, bold, italicize, and underline stuff. It allows you to create lists and to highlight it as well. Uh, that's really nice there because you know sometimes you do need to create lists and you don't want to do it uh, without it looking nice. And so you can format it without it being all too distracting, which is rather quite incredible. You can also go into view here. This allows you to exit full screen if you so want uh, to do this more basic style uh, writing and it, it works. It's not my favorite. I do like the full screen because you are consolidated with your content and you're not distracted. But You can choose whichever one you want. Now there's also this thing called focus. Now you can do paragraph or line focus and this is really, really incredible. Uh, you can focus as many lines as you want, one to ten. Uh, and the reason it's great is it allows you to see um, just the content you want to focus on. So let's uh, create two paragraphs. I am that snazzy iPhone guy. Let's say that's our paragraph. Lousy paragraph, but let's say uh, it is. That's our paragraph. Okay, so we're going to uh, paste that paragraph, create another paragraph, create another paragraph, and create another paragraph. Okay, so we have four paragraphs. Now, there's hotkeys for all of this which you can learn or you can navigate to the menu. This is paragraph focus. All this will focus on is my paragraph. I can continue to type and say yada, 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 go on my merry ways, and it just focuses on that one paragraph. This other stuff is gotten out of the way. That was prior to my paper. I don't need to know that. And it's still there and visible for reference sake, but it's not blinding you uh, saying, hey, look at me, look at me. You're really focusing on what you need to type. So that's line focus. Uh, it really has helped me kind of well, focus on the uh, content that I want to fix or adjust, and that's uh, been really, really nice. You can also do line focus and select how many lines exactly you want to focus upon. Uh, there's typewriter mode, which uh, basically puts everything in the center. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, uh, but that is an option as well. And uh, you can show counters, so you can see how many words you've typed, your characters, uh, also the document type, rich text markdown, and uh, so that's uh, very discreet, and I like that there as well because if you do have to create, you know, a 500 word report you can see that down in the bottom uh, but it's not all distracting and you don't have to look around for it and search it like sometimes you have to do in word and uh, there you go okay so this is the basis of byword it's very simple 10 bucks you may think okay well that's a little bit steep for what it does but really you will notice that your workflow the speed you get things done the uh, ability you have to focus on an individual thing is drastic it really does change the way you compute and change the way your thought process works on a machine. I've always been able to uh, work more easily on pen and paper. Now I haven't been able to do it as fast and one of the downsides to pen and paper is if you come up with a great idea but you're also in the thought of something else, you have to write that down and you write it off to the side in the margins and then you forget your thoughts and really the computer helps you optimize that. But at the same time the computer can be incredibly distracting and this kind of takes the harmonious part of writing uh, really the simplicity of writing and uh, also the power 
of computing and really mashes them together in a beautiful workflow that is incredibly awesome. Now, my favorite part about this is Markdown. Uh, I'm a big multi-Markdown fan, uh, and you know, Byword actually does support this. So we're going to get into this real quick, um, and uh, then I'll, we'll be done with this video. If you don't care about Markdown or you don't know what Markdown is, that's fine. You don't have to watch. But if you do, you may be pretty interested as well. Uh, there's not a lot of Markdown editors that are quite this simplistic, uh, but Markdown is beautiful. It's created by John Gruber, and uh, what it allows you to do is kind of get rid of the distractions of formatting and just kind of make it simplistic. So let's say uh, I wanted to, let's type a quick sentence out. Let's center justify this first line. And uh, we'll say, or maybe, oh, <laughs> do you know why it doesn't let me center a line? Because uh, that's not a hotkey in multi-markdown. I'm foolish. I have to type that out. Um, but first of all, Let's say I wanted to do my headline. Okay, so let's say that snazzy iPhone guy. Hash. Now, if I preview this markdown, it'll go, okay, there's a headline right there. You can do different size headlines and all that other stuff that you're used to in markdown. But the greatest thing about this is you don't have to do uh, constant stuff. Like if I wanted to bold with two asterisks, you could go, wow. Um, you don't have to do that in this application. Of course, it works, and you can type it out, and you, as you can see, that's bolded. Um, let's Let's add another word just so you can see the contrast. But um, what it allows you to do also is you can just click the bold button directly. Uh, you can, or excuse me, I opened a new document. Uh, you can do what you're used to, and uh, you can go Command B, and it creates that automatically for you. So you can say Wow, and then when you preview that markdown, there you go, it does it automatically. Pretty incredible and pretty nice. Now, one of the other things I really dislike about Markdown is uh, the extensive code you have to do to insert images. That's never been something that I've liked. And uh, the great thing about Byword is it does that automatically. It also does it with uh, pictures as well, or images and uh, links and uh, other such things. So let's say I have my TSIG logo here. Boom. There it is. And you can notate this as such if you so choose. Uh, I can say uh, TSIG, but you don't have to. You can get rid of that notation, obviously, altogether. And uh, we'll say the... Um, we'll say bringing you the and we'll italicize it so uh, you can do that most honest reviews on the net and then uh, we'll have my picture here and then we'll also insert a table with our statistics I actually created this a little bit earlier so here we go uh, there's a table obviously in multi markdown format when we preview this markdown boom uh, we'll go back into full screen. You can see that the image has been inserted. Of course, you can format it with Markdown, uh, and there is a beautiful table, which looks absolutely brilliant in Byword. You can export it or copy the HTML directly. Um, also, really pretty freaking awesome, and uh, it is just an amazing application. So again, here's the HTML. Obviously, extremely more advanced than Markdown itself, but it is a beautiful application that really is powerful when you need it to be, but also simplistic when you don't need it to be powerful. And uh, it's really well done. I've been a huge fan of Byword from the start, and I absolutely recommend that you go check it out. It is 10 bucks, but I can promise you, you will be so glad you spend that due to the time you save, the better grades you get because you have the ability to create better, well thought out uh, content. And it really just is an amazing application. I can't recommend it any more highly. I was a bit skeptical at first, but I've absolutely fallen in love. You can find it in the Mac App Store for $9.99 US, and it is available in other countries as well. Byword app. Beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. This video is brought to you by Roku, Netflix, Hulu, Music, Live Sports, Angry Birds, and a whole lot more. All on your TV for just 60 bucks. So much fun for so little. Visit TreadedUS slash Roku to learn more.